hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest, let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be Why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum. The moon landing didn't happen. Oh, the moon landing? That didn't happen. I promise it didn't. I would bet like all of my money. Oh, sorry, I farted. What? Ooh, daddy. Daddy. Hey, Gauls, how you doing? Sorry for the absence. I have been super busy. But a Gaul is still doing the same thing, so we haven't missed much. Hello, hello, January 16th. Welcome to a new vlog. I personally don't understand how it's already the 16th. Time is just like literally flying by. So let's get into this weigh in. By the way, I was super snacky last night. So I'm not expecting a loss. So just a, a warning. A warning? For whom? I am so sick of this shit. She keeps doing the same thing over and over again. I can't wait for the era where she admits that she doesn't care and she is happy with how she is. Hello. Hello. It's ready. Okay, step it on. 507.0 pounds. Oh, 507.0. I have a loss. Okay, I'll take that. If you guys hear chomping and chewing in the background. Twinkie's eating her breakfast, but I was 507.0, which I'm so happy about. Being 500 pounds and being happy about a 0 0.4 pounds lose is the craziest shit you will only see online, lol. This is a perfect example of how yesterday was a gray area, because it's like, I told myself several times to stop snacking, and several times I listened to myself, but there was a couple times where I was like, let me just have one more, let me just have one more little snack. I would love to see what she eats for a snack and what do you mean several times? So she was snacking all day long. I have thought of making my gray area like a cloud, like a little cloud because clouds are gray. Well, sometimes they are, but maybe I'll start that in February. So I'm just going to put that I had an off day yesterday, even though I don't fully believe that. Oh my God, she is insane. You were snacking all day long and one time you were too lazy to get up to get the snack and you want to put a gray cloud because you think that is an achievement. I was a little snacky. I gave in a little here and there, but it was nothing like crazy or intense. Um, but I was expecting to like stay the same or gain a couple ounces. So maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. She really just said that with a straight face lol. Here is a video idea for you Gaul. Make a vide of what you ate that day and compare to the day when you eat insanely more food. We will be the judge of that. So I'm currently in the other unit and I'm doing my laundry and you guys carrying my laundry in this. It gets really heavy, especially when it's wet. So I put it on top of my suitcase, literally game changer. Lol, but she can walk for three hours, no problem. And they say that lazy people are the most innovative. And she probably sits in the other unit for hours just so she doesn't have to go back and forth. I'm just waiting because my, I thought my clothes were done drying, but they still had 15 minutes, so I'm gonna wait a good like 10 and then I'll be done. But I just wanted to show you that life hack if you have to go into a different unit to, you know, do your clothes or if you have to go to like a laundry room that's like in your apartment complex, put that shit on top of a suitcase. So here it is, and then I just push it. It's literally the best invention, I know. That is crazy, and who are you giving this advice to Gaul? The load doesn't even look that big, but of course she will not be able to carry it anyways. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Um, my mom's pipes actually froze. So she had to come over here and shower. It's the middle of the day. I haven't even done my weigh-in yet. I've been awake for literally hours and hours and hours and hours. I hate weighing myself in the middle of the day because your weight fluctuates hardcore, especially after you've ate. It is what it is, but let's go do the weigh-in. If you eat normally, it should not fluctuate hardcore. Of course, it will be different, but not so much low. I am guessing that she has gained weight, so this is an excuse for that. Oh, it's ready. All right, step it on. 508.8 pounds. 508.8? <laughs> Your girl is not surprised with that. I am literally exhausted for her. Why is she doing this? Gaul, you were stuck losing and gaining the same 30 pounds for years. You can't lose weight. Her last real hope was getting weight loss surgery and that is gone. So she is just wasting her time doing this honestly. Okay, so 508.8. Makes me very sad to see it. But yesterday I was not on track. So that explains that plus weighing myself is such a weird time of day but no excuses i still have an off track day like i said just give up and accept the fact that this will be your life since you refuse to try hard and suffer and you have a weak ass willpower and give in to your cravings every single time hello it's january 18th hello it's ready okay second one 512.2 pounds 512.2 oh god i could cry but i'm not going to while she was celebrating a 0 0.4 pounds weight loss here we are, she gained 5 pounds overnight. And crying is useless since it will not fix anything Gaul. Um, actually breaks my heart. So yesterday was the worst day food-wise that I have had the whole January. What you guys are seeing is 
a lot of hot Cheeto and Reese's, a lot of salt, a lot of salt, ramen, just like literally yesterday was so bad. I just, I can't even put it into terms. And I guarantee that everything she just mentioned, she already had it in her house prepared for days like this. She shows us the veggies she buys in her grocery shopping, but we all know she buys a ton of snacks as well. It just truly felt like I could not get full. Physically, mentally, emotionally, like it doesn't matter. I gain weight so easy. The sodium is no joke. And normally situations like this would make me cry, but it's like, why am I going to cry when I did this to myself? Like I literally did this to myself. No one did this to me. No one did this for me. This is my fault. So instead of crying, I'm going to use this as motivation to do better. We can't, we can't let days like this happen. Like no gall, you are not crying because you know damn well you will probably eat like that again today. When the high, or whatever you want to call it, goes down, then you will cry and start another day one. I'm about to step on, but I do want to say I did better yesterday than the day prior. So let's keep our fingers crossed. 512.4 pounds. 512.4. Boo! I was expecting, like, to lose a little bit more than that. To lose more than that. Bitch, you gained weight low. She is so delusional and after years of eating like shit, she still doesn't know when she gains weight low. So I was 512.4, which means I gained a little bit off track yesterday. Like all of these off tracks are definitely a reflection of my mental health. That's something I've definitely noticed. Really? Have you ever thought that maybe it is the opposite? Maybe your mental health is declining because of this. Maybe your mental health is shit because your body is literally constantly fighting to exist. I really don't want to come on here and do this, but... Uh, admitting that I'm currently depressed for some reason is hard for me. There's just so much stigma around it and I just, I don't know. But I am depressed and I don't know why. Like, I have no reason to be depressed. Did she really said that? Gore, you have every reason to be depressed. You are 500 pounds and have no life. You have nothing to live for other than food. You have no goals, no real career, no friends. Other than mental illness, like, I have been, like, denying it. I have been in denial, and I've just noticed the last few days just that feeling of it coming. And today, it just, like, really hit me, and I just haven't wanted to get out of bed. The only thing that I am finding the strength to do is literally get out of bed and take Twinkie outside. Days like this used to happen for me a lot. Like, I would love to see the days where she is depressed and the days when she is not. What do you think she does differently? Emotions used to be very back and forth, up and down. It was like I was either depressed or manic. There was never like an in-between. And it's like lately, just over time, especially within the time of living on my own, I have found some sort of balance. So for me to feel this way and to feel as low as I do, I just feel really sad. And it's like, I feel like a failure right now at life. And I have missed uploading days because of this. And it's like the only thing I could do is ride the wave. A tiny bit better than I did in my last vlog, where I talked to you guys just very surface level about like, I feel a tad bit depressed. Yesterday was really, really bad, but thankfully I feel like I have dug myself out of my depression hole a little bit. And if you are a cardinal sign... The genuine question. Do you think she knows the difference between sadness and depression? She exaggerates everything and she loves being unique or different. So remember how Casey said that Amblin started saying she is depressed after he was diagnosed with depression. Okay, stepping on. 513.8 pounds. 513.8. I just keep gaining which is very freaking sad. Oh my God. So I think it might be seasonal depression, which is not fully something that I've ever struggled with before. I've just struggled with straight up depression, highs and lows due to me being bipolar, but I've never like experienced like seasonal depression, but I just noticed like just being trapped indoors. Like I'm not indoors right now, but like there was a lot of ice and a lot of snow, like especially last week and stuff. And I think just like the cold is getting to me. I don't really know what it is. Bitch said trapped indoors as if she is out every day hiking though. Gaul, you barely go out to take Twinkie for a walk. Stop pretending like you are not a housebound Lego building. Hot Cheetos eating Gaul. Genuinely feeling a million times better. Like, I just had a hard last, like, five days, six days. I don't know. But I feel so much freaking better. I actually just posted a couple TikToks. And one of them, I duetted Tammy Slayton. And we're both dancing. <laughs> she look at Tammy and do this stupid video instead of being depressed. Once upon a time, she was bragging about being smaller than Tammy, and she was offended people would compare the two. Now look at them, Tammy is living her best life after her surgery, and Amberlynn is doing thirst traps for God knows who at 514 pounds. What? Holy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's my new favorite snack. Wow, that's great. Let's go back, 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 back. 